Hey guys, GC here, playing 7 Days to Die, Alpha 17.2. As you can see, it's now day 73, and I'm, you know, digging long, digging hard, because that's how we roll. That's how we get the materials. Look at all the th things that I have. We have over, like, 1500 iron, we have a lot of lead, we have all of this small stone, even some nitrate powder I gathered somewhere around over there, and... Well, as you can see, we're over here, and uh, well, I'm still, you know, digging, digging. Eventually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, you know, putting more time into digging, because most of the work on the on the main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative, the tower, is, is mostly done. Uh, there's some cosmetics that we need, and uh, the other thing that we're doing is, uh, you know, working over here at the hospital in Deersville. So. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, g give a little more time to dig in right now. So, um, still very early, but, well, this is a long-ass tunnel, so it's going to take a long time for me to get back to the base. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't follow me on Twitter, why the hell don't you follow me on Twitter? It is a good Twitter, you should follow it. Uh, I posted this because I finally modified the recipes.xml file, uh, you know, adding a few things, like for instance, let me show you this, control, you see we got all of these control panels, I installed some by the tokamak reactor, I'm gonna show you how that uh, ended up, uh, it's, it's really nice. I also added, let me see, I added the hospital bed, hospital bed, you see this one, uh, and I also added x-ray, two x-ray lights, you see, and I think I added satellite dishes, these two, you see. All of that is in a paste bin file that is attached to the Twitter, and all you need to do is just, uh, you know, copy that uh, in the recipes.xml, and you'll be able to have all of these, you know, you can change uh, the requirements for crafting, you know, I just, uh, these are cosmetic items, so I just made them that you need to work for them, but not so very expensive. Oh crap, you know, cardio. I've told you this is embarrassing, you lazy ass monster. Oh, shut up, Gladys. You know, this is a long ass tunnel, and, and you know, the stamina is a thing. Okay, so, and uh, as I was saying, uh, you can modify the necessary requirements. I made a video in Alpha 17, uh, Alpha 16 about how to do this. It was really detailed. I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, but you, you know, it's, it's it's very easy. You just take one of the recipes that exist, and then you just uh, modify. The, the only part that you need to take care of is getting the name of the things right, and the name of the the different uh, blocks you get it from the blocks.xml file. But as I said, if you want to see in a detailed explanation how I did this, go back and watch the beginning of the video that's in the link. For now, I'm just. Uh, you know, trying to get back to the workshop, which is taking a long time. Me, my stamina, you know, from all the time I've been digging, is like at half my maximum stamina. Uh, also, uh, since they rebalanced the experience by digging, I've got a lot of experience. As you can see now, I, I have dead eye at four out of five, and guns linger at four out of five. So. And boom, headshot is also four out of five. So I'm thinking for now, I'm just gonna be saving my points in order to maximize, you know, these two attributes. So it's four points and five, nine points. You see, I'm currently at level 141. No weird status effects, health and stamina 150, 150. Uh, zombie kills, 1600 zombie kills and 628 kilometers traveled, 18,508 items crafted. Interesting, you know, really interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over here and finally we're getting. So the main objective for today's video is uh, first I'm going to show you how this is looking. Look at this. 
I also added some, you know, consoles and stuff to the, this is my like main operations area, you know, I, I, I sit here and I control everything and, uh, you know, it's really nice. These are the, the items I crafted. You mean the items you cheated in? I did not cheat, Gladys. I told you this is just a simple XML file modification. We're still playing hardcore, uh, you know, vanilla, just with a few more items that you can craft. But it's cosmetic; doesn't affect gameplay. And over here, we finally have the Tokamak fusion reactor that's going to power all of our, uh, you know, big uh, operations here in this region. So the reactor is operational. And we got power flowing. Uh, we can even, you know, in a necessity, like, uh, you know, redirect some of the fusion plasma uh, through these pipes. And, uh, you know, in order to. Oh, this is not painted. I need to paint. Uh, so it's, it's operational. We got the energy that we need. We can start, you know, uh, building uh, some, some things for the. In particular, for the threshold project. In order to stabilize this area, so as I said, we got a, a couple of um, a couple of uh, you know goals in this video. The first is we're going to investigate something that happened uh, in the last video. There was like a dimensional uh, instability peak, and I think something showed up over here. If you remember when we were on top of the of the uh, the Stephen Hawking uh, Tower. We could see something, but it disappeared, you know, it was like a dimensional mirage. Now it appears, since we got this satellite image, it's showing something there. So we're going to go and investigate that. And then we're going to head over to maybe a couple of traders. I'm thinking we're going to visit, obviously, this trader, that trader, and the trader over here. Because it's day 73, and I'm thinking they were going to restock. And the other thing, we're going to go to the hospital. And we are going to work a little bit in the next iter iteration of what used to be the ramp of doom, which now will be evolved. Okay, so for now, okay, the first things first. I'm just gonna take this and you know, just put this. Forges must be running at all times. That's good this thing here and that over there okay and here okay we got enough clay some lead some raw iron good oh and over here I'm just gonna drop this and in this area we're just gonna drop that and all of this good stuff and and over here we drop this. Also gonna take some more concrete, you know, because we need to work a little bit in the hospital and that's probably going to require some concrete. I was also making these things, wet concrete blocks. So you can see we get pre-made wet concrete. We have 500, that's more than enough for any heavy building that we need to do. Uh, also, let's see, I'm gonna need something, like, use this, because my stamina, as you can see, my max stamina is quite down, so, you got one of those, and yucca seed, we got some seeds here, the mushroom spores, I need to make an underground mushroom garden, uh, I haven't had time, you know. And also we're gonna eat like a large beef ration. I hope I don't get food poisoning. And scrap that. And this should be okay now. 121. Some sham chowder. We're gonna also eat some sham chowder. Oh, we get we get some kind of perk from eating the sham chowder. That's kind of weird. Uh, scrap this, also drink a little bit of red tea, we're gonna be, we want to be properly watered and fed before we, you know, start going around. Okay, I think, I think we're good, oh, I gotta, just a second, no, 
where's the steel? Here's the steel, we gotta repair this. And I'm guessing we're good with the other things. Okay, good. Okay, so... Uh, how do we get here? It's a little early for the... for the trader. So I'm just gonna go in this direction and just uh, fly to the, the, the structure. Uh, Mike, you said you were going to, to do some preliminary recon on that structure. What did you find? This is Star Star Seattle. Up. Oh, zombies. Yeah, well, that's not really, you know, surprising. But but it's okay. Oh, also, uh, buddy, uh, since the, the Tokamak fusion reactor is up and running, uh, we can start working on the, you know, the new, uh, the, the new project for uh, the threshold project, you know, that thing uh, that we're going, do we need to stabilize, um, let me just put this here, we need to stabilize this whole region, you know, uh, we were discussing it earlier, and um, it's going to require a lot of power, but now the tokamak reactor is operational, so uh, we can start working on that. I was thinking we can place it maybe in one of these, uh, you know, uh, peaks right next to the the building. Have you thought of a of a name for that? This is Star Star Seat Up. Oh yeah? What do you want to call it? Seat Cas T O T six two. Ooh, that's a nice name. The Chaos Engine. That's that's cool. That's cool. Okay, okay. We're gonna start working on that. For now, I'm just gonna go over here and investigate this building. That's apparently now you know, fixed into our dimension that it didn't used to be here in fact there's a whole thing with a bridge over there, like a, a road I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come over here and okay, land softly, land softly easy, easy, okay it was not, not, not as softly as I hoped but it was good okay, um, zombie? hello You dead? She dead. Okay, let me just put this over here. What is this? This, this looks like a like a cabin, but it's kind of big. Over here we got a biker. What is this? Like an outdoor pupitorium over here? Hey, bro. What's up? Ooh, no head, huh? That sucks. Let me just check this out. I hear something. Here's something burning. Okay, we gotta be careful over here. Is there anyone inside? Hello? Destroyed workbench. Every workbench I find in the world is destroyed, you know? Sometimes it would be nice to find a actual a nice workbench. Okay, let's see this. This looks like a big ass cabin, you know? It's boarded up from the inside. They were possibly trying to, you know, protect themselves from the zombies. This light is still operational. Hello? Anyone around? Okay, I'm seeing purse. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna get some of this good cloth, you know. Cloth is good, is necessary. Hello? Anyone? I like waking up you. Hello? Let me just open here. Oh, hello there. How is it that you're not dead, bro? You're dead now. Okay? Damn. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Why, why am I hearing, like, people angry? Holy crap! 
Where did you come from? Did you just spawn here or were you just waiting for me to like do this and th Ah nice Okay good Okay okay easy easy I still hear a very angry people This is a large cabin you know And you know this thing looks like the cabin from a cabin in the woods. You know? Oh, we got ferals. Yeah, you went flying. Buller kill streak tooltip. Apparently the the perk for the kill streak is not, you know, completely done. And there you go. You see? We get some something that's a buff kill streak bullet tip or something. And we got we got a a buff we got a buff, but apparently we killed all the zombies. Yeah, I'm thinking this looks like the cabin in the woods. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Where are you? Are you dead? You're not dead. Now you're dead. Oh, secret area back here. You see? Where you can monitor people. Things. And the bathroom. What is this? A weapons bag. Nice. Really nice. Oh, there's there's a thing back here. Oh, crap. Basement. Basement. This basement. Okay. Holy crap! You dead? Yeah, you dead. Okay. Okay, we got some stuff over here. Let me just get this. There's nothing. Hello? Anyone around? Oh, look at this. This is destroyed workbench. Uh, every every workbench. All over the place is destroyed. Uh, oh, look at this. This is nice. Haven't seen that. Like decoration. This thing is also nice looking. Might even mod this, you know? Could be, could be nice to have it in the facility. Uh, a shirt. Got some cloth. Uh, I don't even give rat's ass about that. Okay, let's just open this. Okay. Shotgun Messiah. Okay. I appreciate the ammo. Uh, okay, well, I'll take that. Not terribly impressive. But, you know, we got, like, uh, barrels here. Okay, can we go up here? This is like a secret entrance. Hello? Hello? Hmm. This looks weird. Okay. Okay, very uneventful, you know? Just like a regular cabin. Uh, what the crap is this? Candy Cane Club? Melee damage 21. Melee damage 30. Well, th this thing is not bad, actually. <laughs> Candy Cane. Okay. I just got that and got this. What else do we have here? Uh, suitcase, nothing. Okay. And about here. Come on, open. I, I see something moving over there, but I think it's the trees. Okay. Okay, we searched this cabin completely. There were a few zombies. Nothing too formidable. Uh, let me see something over here. 
This is kind of weird. How did they make this thing? Like this block over here. I don't recognize that block. Are these like half blocks? No, this is a full block. But you see this is like a ramp half block. Uh, half. I don't think we have that. Hmm, might be a developer block. Okay. Okay, I did the thing. I went into the cabin. I, I killed them zombos. Everything's good. The trader appears to be open now, so we're going to go and do some light trading. Uh, let me see in this bridge over here. Uh, anything? Hello? Okay, we got a few cars. Oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing ferals. Okay, how about we try this? I'm sneaking. Oh, come on, I shot you. I need the bonus. Bro. What the crap are you doing? Okay, you're gone. You're gone. You're not gone. Are you are you seeing this bullcrap? Okay. I hope you're gone now. You know it was a nice recovery when you fell here and you managed to get back. Uh, let me just quickly look at this. Why why can I jump oh I'm crouching. Run! Yes, yeah, squishy. Okay. Whoa! Holy crap! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, this bridge is not very, you know, safe. Okay, you might screw it. What is this? There's like a backpack. Uh, I'm gonna take this, and take that. I cannot take the press boy cap. Yes, yeah, squishy. Okay, okay. I guess it's time to go to the trader. I'm just gonna take the engine of destruction because I feel like riding. Sabra! I feel like riding into the sunset. Okay, the trader is just over this mountain. I mean, this hills over here. Shouldn't be a problem, right? I just go over here. And whoa! I'm thinking there's going to be some shenanigans. Okay, easy, easy. Look, look at the mad driving skills. Okay, we did it. Awesome. Okay. Okay, bro. We're gonna do some light trading. Just look at the magnificent uh, building over there. It's just beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna leave the the thing over here. Okay, there. Okay. Hey, bro. What's up? Howdy. How are you? Uh, I wanna sell some stuff, you know. I'm gonna sell you this. I'm gonna sell all this. No, I'm not gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell this one. Uh. I wanna sell this and this thing and this stupid pistol and the paint. No, we cannot sell the paint. Flannel shirt, no. Uh, what is it that? What else can we sell here? Uh, candy cane club. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. The candy cane club. Okay, what do you have in your inventory? Um, Mostly interested. Uh, no, I think we have enough of this ammo. Uh, grave digger. 50% more damage against dirt. Dirt, you know. Very, very difficult to, to, to you know, fight against dirt. Okay, I'm gonna buy all of these magnum things. Um, 
You get some potatoes. Potatoes are always good. Engine. No, I don't need it. I can scrap engines. Paper. Things. Magazines. Uh, I, guess, I guess we're good. Yeah. Rather disappointed in your inventory, bro. Not not a lot of good stuff. I thank you, kind sir. Okay. Whatever. See you. Woohoo! Okay. So, we're here. Uh, take the engine of destruction. And I'm just gonna go. Um, you know what? Uh, I wanna go to this trader here. I'll make a quick point, so just uh, bear with me for a second. Okay, here we are. If I remember correctly, this trader is a bit of a jackass. You now he ha doesn't have the people skills. Well, you also lack people Damn skills because you are monster. Wager, you you monster. Okay, Gladys, between you and this jackass, you know, not good. Not good. Okay. Uh, you want you want this? Just for in the inventory space, you know. Uh, okay, let's see. Engine, repair, you know, I'm gonna take the repair kits. Those things are useful. Magazine extender. I already have one magazine extender installed here. I don't know if I can. You know, I'm gonna buy it just in case. See if we can use it somewhere else. Spotlight from the shadows. Crap. Uh, player vending machine. Should maybe eventually get one of those for the, you know, for the facility. Um, lump of coals, no. Animal fat, nitric powder, candles, some boiled eggs, maybe. Not gonna bother with the rocket launcher thing. Last Hornade showed us that. You know, explosive weapons have been nerfed, so they're really not very useful right now. Okay, I guess I guess Don't we're let good. the door hit you on your way out. Are you like a relative of Gladys? Hey, what did I tell you about talking shit about me behind my back, you monster? Remember, I never sleep. Okay, okay, Jesus, so touchy. Close this, and oh, here's my bike. You know, I saw that biker over there, and I thought he was being a jackass, and he just wanted to take the bike like a jackass. Wait, are you still alive, bro? I shot you in the face. That that is not you know up to code. You stupid zombo, uh, you know, surviving that. Okay, I'm just gonna go quickly to the other uh, trader, and then we're gonna head over to the. To the hospital, so just uh, bear with me for a second. Oh, look at this an airdrop. Fancy meeting you here, airdrop. Okay, um. Oh crap. Okay, let me just drop some loot here. Uh, I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna drop this, you know. Put that over there. That, and the shirt, and this, and the electrical parts. Uh, the maximum rifle we're gonna try to sell. And the glass jar. Okay. I heard that zombie. What is that you doing the, the ASMR sounds or something? 
Okay, um, I'm gonna drop this cornmeal. Just put here this thing and this thing. And the shotgun shell, and if not the shotgun, we're gonna try to sell. Okay, I guess, I guess we're good. Okay, we're, we're really close to the trader right now. And, you know, fancy meter is uh, finding a, a, a crate, a supply crate, right here in the middle of nowhere. You know, this area has a lot of snow. Like, a lot of snow. Like, what is this, Siberia or something like that? Oh. Haven't seen, you know, Wilson in a while. Now that I think about it, psychotic bear. Probably going to uh, if we go to the cave that's uh, in Deersville. We're probably going to like find it. Oh, easy, easy! Don't do the weird things. Okay, here we are. Nice. You see, mad driving skills. see what we can find. Hello? Customer here. Everything is for sale. Good, good. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell you some things, you know? I'm gonna sell you this. And I'm gonna sell you this. Okay, um... Got a few rounds here. I mean, and some shells. Uh, water purifier. I have one of those. Trip wire posts, no. Shotgun shells. Buy all of that, you know, for the next horde night. It is important to have a, a good uh, amount of shotgun shells. Uh, it's 9mm ammo. Now, for now, we're not gonna do that. That's possibly going to come and haunt me, you know, in the future. The proverbial biting in the ass. But for now, I think we're good. I'm gonna buy this bottle of acid just in case, you know, acid is good. All of this. Okay, I guess we're good. I didn't see any. Uh, I'm gonna buy this bar stool, you know, cosmetic thing. Uh. Speakers. You know, I'm gonna buy some speakers. That might be good. Fuse box. Oh, I need fuse, fuse box. We're just buying the cosmetic stuff, you know? I didn't see a uh, magnum ammo. I guess you're not so bad after all. Thank you, bro. You're not so bad after all, even though you have the weird, you know, like alien eyes and and the weird force field that protects your thing and you don't want to, like, uh, you know, uh, share that technology. Okay. Um, so, we're gonna s put these things and I'm gonna put that over there and this and this and possibly the nails. No, the nails, you know, we're going to scrap those. Put this and that and this sham. Screw it. Just gonna put all. Uh, uh, we're gonna save those. Okay. I guess. I guess we're good. You know, we're good. Okay. I'll take the the bike. And now I'm gonna head into town. It's really close, so there's no no need for uh, you know for a montage. Am I going in the right direction? Yeah, I wanna I wanna come over here. Okay, good. Oh yeah, well we can still see the land claim block, you know, icon on the compass on top. So that's that's where we're going. Okay. So um uh, Mike, uh, be sure to talk to the guys in accounting 
about this uh, new Chaos Engine project, project, okay? They were really pissed off about the damage uh, that happened to the ramp of DOOM! Okay, buddy? Yeah, Cash TOT 16. Awesome, awesome. You know what? Since I talked about this jackass, I wanna, I'm feeling I'm feeling combative. We're, we're, we'll see if we can we can pick a fight with dumbass Wilson. Yeah, I I I think that zombie was really excited about that because I said pick a fight with dumbass Wilson and she said yeah, like this you know, like like that. You're still alive. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> come on. You're getting blurry, lady. There you go. You know, it's hard to to keep the oh, everything is destroyed. It's hard to keep the uh, the sniper rifle trained on 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 the zombies for so long. Okay. If I remember, Wilson's cave was somewhere around here. And everything, yes, yeah, squishy. You see, you can tell because the amount of squishiness. Yes, yeah, squishy. Yes, yeah, yeah, squishy. Wilson, are you home? Yes, yeah, squishy. Wilson. Yes, yeah, squishy. Well, Wilson is not home. Interesting. Yeah, squishy, squishy. You know you're going to come back eventually, you stupid yeah, squishy, crazy undead, you know, bear. Good thing about Wilson is that he comes in different varieties, you know, regular Wilson, Wilson, undead Wilson. Oh, and since we are talking about exploring this, I remember I saw something weird that I was. I, w I was meaning, you know, to come and, and, and check out there was a thing over here that it seemed like it had like an underground area. I think it's this house. I'll just park it right here. Okay. You see this thing? Okay, I just gotta make sure that we can, like, properly escape first. Uh, it's rather deep, you know? Okay. I think we're good now. Oh yeah! Just gotta put this over here. And you know, my OCD requires that we do this. Okay. And also, can I exit this properly? Yes. Oh, look at this. There was like a tunnel in this house. Hello? I don't know if I've been here. Okay. This is a rather big, you know, underground place. I even have like a the chance to get out from uh, using that hole or something. Okay. I'm not seeing any zombies here. I don't know if I. Oh, nice. You know, these guys had a nice, like, uh, where can I get this? This is a big ass cream. You know, I commend the former owners of this for their, uh, you know, their movie room here. Sorry if I just walk around destroying things. Okay, unlocked. Easy. Yeah, we ha we got lucky. There were no zombies here. 
this is a weird pattern, you know, of destruction. Like, pretty sure I'm seeing spikes that were not there just reappearing. Okay. Well, it was just a minor... Where's my thing? It's over here. Just a minor you know, underground passage. And look at this. Perfectly good car hiding right here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the opportunity to wrench it. Uh, ooh. Level 5 wrench. Actually, it's the same level as the wrench I have now. Mm. I still need to craft like a couple of things in level 6, you know, like uh, a new sniper rifle and a new a new magnum and maybe a new wrench give me all of this stuff it is good oh, we got an engine that's good that's good okay let's see so I'll put this and this I'm gonna put that and this and all of this good stuff this we're gonna scrap okay I guess we're good okay so now we finally stop fooling around and we head over to the side of the battle of the hospital and you know someone commented that oh, what the crap uh, this is just you know, crazy someone commented that when I shot the when I shot the the rockets like I was destroying the the pillars and no you can see that the asphalt is intact so the damage was from the zombos okay so the thing that I'm planning to do is well this is my theory if you watch the last video you'll see that the zombies when they started running they got to you know my 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 position over over there my defensive position, they got there with no no problem. The thing is that uh, most of the zombies started you know concentrated inside the hospital. So since they concentrated inside the hospital, the immediate path to get to me was not as clear. That's why they got like over here and started destroying. And they start destroying like this pillar and this pillar and this pillar, and then I I put some some frames. I, I ran here. The zombies detected me, and everything worked okay. But the thing is that the zombies are going to naturally try to concentrate here. So, and as you can see, there is some damage to the building, like over there, over there. You see, I I did, and there's like another gap over there. I did some preliminary repairs. But now we need to like go uh, all the way up to this uh, by this uh, tower and just do the repairs. But the other thing is, um, I'm going to like build this uh, like a spiral case, uh, a, a spiral ramp. So what we are going to do is um, we're going to build it in this direction and then over here and then possibly like over here so the zombies uh, can sense there's a direct path uh, to get me and it's gonna start like over here something like that okay so the first thing we're going to do is and, and you know and you know I, I really I'm, I'm gonna build it in this direction okay so let me show you how I built this the last time Last time was a little bit more time consuming because I didn't use the wet concrete blocks. But basically, we just, I'm gonna put this here. We just put one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the next block is gonna come, uh, gonna stay here. Um, I gotta think about a little, a little thing that, uh, because I really want to, uh, to have like an horizontal area where the zombies can just uh, like horizontal area between you know the ramps so we should have like a horizontal area here and then go in this direction and in order to do that um, 
I'm gonna have to build the capillary here, you know. So we're gonna do this, and then five over here, and then this area. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, that's going to... Okay, that's gonna be good. Okay, so for now, what we do is this. We just jump a little bit, using the Nerdpool strategy, which is the strategy of our people. And now we use the concrete block. And... Oh, come on. You can... You can... Oh, crap. Okay. This is going to uh, serve a double purpose, because it's also going to reinforce, you know, this thing over here. So... I set five, and there. There you should see. So we jump a little bit higher. Then we place this. And over here. And there. And just a little bit more. And I'm hoping no zombies show up. Because when we were preparing for the first battle of the hospital a few episodes ago, there was like a whole you know battalion of Samaras showing up. It was just really really weird. Okay. Okay we're good here. Go up a little bit. And you see here what we should do is we're gonna destroy this and I'm going to install like a flat area here. But this might take a little time, so let's just uh, speed this up. Okay, here we are, we're just in the final phases. As you can see, it's pretty fast to build these kind of ramps. Let me just upgrade this. You know, I was using the, the rebar frames when I built the first uh, part, but uh, as you can see, using the second part, it's, uh, it's faster in terms of uh, finish, uh, of, uh, you know, finished blocks here, but we still have to upgrade them, you know, later, so. Yeah, we save some time in an area, we lose some time in the other one. I just gotta destroy this so the zombies can have like a clear path to, you know, access this. Because I'm seeing from the angle that this thing is going to end here. And, um, well, with this we're going to have, you know, uh, repaired the ramp. I'm gonna go uh, to the roof. We're gonna check a little bit of the situation and then we're gonna start uh, looking inside of the hospitals. I've already been inside, I saw the... Uh, I did some repairs, you know, but... Oh crap, what the, what the crap? This was not supposed to go here. Why do you embarrass me so? You embarrass yourself just fine, you embarrassing monster. But shut up, Gladys! It's just, you know, sometimes you build and stuff happens. 
Okay, I'm guessing this is like over here. I'm gonna copy this rotation here. Get it there. Yeah, this is the correct angle, you see? It's looking good. So, just do this. And I'm gonna put one of this here, and one here, and this one here. Okay, so now the zombies have no excuse. There we go, you see? And we copy this one. There, there, and you know, we're gonna have, we're gonna add a little bit additional support here. Okay, you know, the ramp is done. Uh, just gonna, let's see, oh, over here we got some debris that I wanna clear. It looks nasty, you know? So, let's just clear this debris, and this thing. Okay, we're good. You know, I have to, like, give time for the concrete to, you know, dry up. But basically, we are done here. Uh, maybe we can add a little structural reinforcement inside, you know? Oh, come on. Uh, but for the most part, this is done. Like, for instance, these things I did here. I just gotta take it and put it there, you see? Put it there. Here. Uh, not here. That has enough, you know, support. This one here. And, oh! Gotta destroy this. Weird pieces of... Easy. Copy this rotation. Put this here. We just put a little bit here, so it looks real nice. Hopefully, as I said, since the zombies are going to be much closer to where I am, they will see the direct path going up. That is my theory, you know? Put this here. Because, as I said, in the beginning, the ramp was working. The problem is that the zombies congregated inside the hospital, so in order to get to me, going all the way to the start of the ramp, that was it was too much, you know, too too much for the stupid zombie brains. So, put this and this. Yeah. Okay, good. You know, might even think about doing this too wide. Uh, two blocks wide, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Okay, we're gonna go up. Okay, this is good. Uh, upgrade this and this, just in case some zombies decide to try to destroy. As you can see, I've upgraded some random parts as I go up and search. There is some damage over there, but this is like the second time the zombies have done that, so I'm not going to repair it. I'm just gonna leave it. But for the most part, this area is secure, you know? So, let's just try and go up. I see these randoms, you know, blocks that are drying up. That is good. You know, I thought I, this, was going, this was going to be, you know, difficult. I thought I was going to have to destroy some of this, but I, I see that I don't. And well, uh, when I was uh, surveying the damage inside uh, the tower after the battle, uh, several zombies decided to join the party. So I had to, you know, like, you know, give them some attention. So I don't know how many zombies are still over there, but we'll see. Okay, everything looks good here. I need to find a better, uh, you know, system than this. Possibly a, a ladder or something. Everything here looks good. Um, uh, oh, crap. Okay, there. I'm going to just put this ammo. Uh, 
I don't know why I did that. I heard somewhere that maybe it works better if the ammo is like, you know, distribute, uh, evenly distributed. I think it might be bullcrap, but we, we, we don't lose anything by doing this, you see? There's still a lot of ammo here. It was not very, you know, demanding during the last core night. But this is good. Let me see if everything works. No, no, I don't want to take it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shut it down. Uh, I see no damage here. Okay, let's just go and survey around here. You know, that's that's the first thing. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm going to like uh, build something to get uh, easily there because can I enter th over here? No. You know, I sealed a couple of floors. Sealed the first, the, the, the last two floors. But I don't have like an easy way to get here. And I'm thinking I'm going to just uh, make an easy way going from this side, you know? And I'm gonna do this right now. So let's just put some logs here. Okay. So, uh, just gonna take this. Put this concrete here, there, there, and there. Okay, that's good. Let's destroy this. That way, if we need to go down, we can do it without much trouble. You know? Okay. Oh, so I gotta get rid of this. We're going to replace it with blocks. But I don't think anyone spawned here. We appear to be still under the protection of the, you know, the land plane block. Uh, there, there, and there. And this thing, I'm just gonna, you know, get rid of this. So it looks better. Here. That looks good. You see? Now I'm, I need some ladder. I'm gonna make like seven. Sorry. Misclicked. Also, get rid of this stupid trash because it alerts the zombies. Okay, everything looks here. Good. You see, there's some damage from when I crashed with my. When I crashed with the, the gyrocopter, but no damage from the zombies here, because as I said, no zombies are spawning here. Let me just quickly go over here, jump. Oh uh, crap! Oh, you know what? Drop this. Drop this. Drop this. We don't have time for shenanigans. Good. We can make this jump, you see? Okay, so over here. Down. And now we put these things. Up, up, up. Oh, come on. Put the thing there. Good. Good. Okay, that's good. So. I go down here. As I said, this floor is, you know, completely isolated from the rest of the hospital. And as you can see over here, this is where the, the loot was. Someone was very concerned that I had blocked off the, the loot room. Well, it's okay, you know. Everything here is secure now. So, just to give it a little bit more in case any zombies decide to try and somehow get inside here. I'm just gonna block this off. 
you know, all the way. Because I don't need it. They don't need it. If they want to come this way, they're going to have to work hard for it. Also, we prevent any, you know, residual spawning that might occur. There we go, you see? All of this blocked. Here, here, and here. This is a gigantic waste of material, someone might say. Well, yes. Or, or actually, no. This is, you know, us securing everything. This is just a big chunk of concrete. So, no zombies are going to get easily through this. See, over there, over there, there. Okay, just gonna finish this. Okay, so this area, secure, you see? Completely secure. Just upgrade these things. You see, uh, this is what I've been doing, doing some random upgrades to different sections of the hospital so they don't collapse, you know? Like this one. Nice, some tuning. Okay, so lab equipment, empty weapons bag, empty heart and chest. Okay, and over here there was a little bit of damage as you can see, but we can deal with it. Okay, so this is upgraded, this is good, I'm gonna leave it. This is where the most damage happens in the other floors, but as you can see, this floor is just pristine. Oh, it's a suitcase. Had some corn in it. Most of the damage in the other floors occurs around this area. But everything looks good here, so just in case we're doing a little bit of, you know, upgrading. So, you know, there's the, the structural integrity of the other floors is maintained. As I said, this is what I've been doing in the other floors. So, the floor immediately down from uh, the rooftop, as you can see, upgraded, secured. All of this is now reinforced concrete, and no zombies are here anyway. Maybe a little bit here. This area also takes a lot of damage in the other floors. This is floor 7, you know? And it's just completely, you know, secure. I'm guessing someone spawns here. You can tell because of dead things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mess up their spawning. In the event they decide to try to spawn again. Okay, that should mess them up. Okay, good. Yeah, I guess this area is is good. Uh, just in case. Yeah, I think I heard something down. Here, here, here. Okay. This is the seventh floor. As you can see, everything is good. Let's just go down a little bit. Might even install like a, a door here, you know, just for in order to have more security. Oh, this is already dry. Oh, the sun is really shining today. That's why everything is dry. Okay, let's just go up. Just random upgrades, you know, because as I said, there was some structural collapse here. I, I heard it. Uh, scrap that. But I am confident that we can, you know, like work. 
without much trouble. Uh, this thing. Upgraded dead. Good. You see, this is the these are the satellite dishes that uh, I added. Satellite, you see, satellite dish, satellite dish, small. This one and the other one over there. So, uh, as this area is uh, functioning as our, uh, uh, you know, a communications hub for the eastern area of the map, uh, I'm going to install a few more of those, you know, around here. And the other thing I would like maybe to mod in is this thing. You see, this bar, because I use like those, those are uh, you know railings, segments of railings, in order to install the same things back uh, in the building of the uh, you know the the Stephen Hawking building of the main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative. But I would really like to use these things. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. So you see, we get this, we get that. Everything looks good. Okay, so this this is okay. We're gonna go now to oh, just a little damage from when I crash here. We're gonna go to the sixth floor, which you access. Uh, excuse me, this this thing doesn't really look right here. I just gotta destroy this. And I'll place one there. Good. Okay. And you know just case this thing also one I gotta I'm pretty sure there are zombies down there you know over there by the body bags and all the things I don't want any interlopers you know messing up the place everything else looks looks solid enough okay I don't know if there is there anything inside this, but it's okay. Okay, so where, where's the entrance over here? Um, here, you see? This floor, as I said, has also been completely sealed. Uh, there's some damage over there, you see? Some damage here that was caused by some zombies, possibly those spider monkey zombies. Or maybe, you know... Cop, cops puking. In fact, this thing, you see, there was a gap. This is the sort of thing that triggers structural instability. You know. So we go here, we do some upgrading, we fix it. But I don't think there was a lot of zombie activity in this particular floor because it is also sealed off. You know, in case anyone like to spawn here, we're just sealing this. So, you're not gonna be able to spawn. And as you can see, the whole stair block is sealed. We got this lamp over here. And you can look at the, at the rest of the hospital down there, you see. But you're not getting through here. And as you can see, there is no real damage. Uh, also, no real damage here because, as I said, no zombies have been here. And yeah, we get a pupitorium, some uh, dirty water. Oh, nice. I don't really search here. Okay, I'm gonna just take the opportunity and quickly upgrade this. Which, as I said, it is structurally important. Also, we're gonna upgrade this. Maybe some of the roof as well. You know, some random upgrades. That's what we're doing. But as you can see, no damage here. No compromise to structural integrity. Everything here has been upgraded to you know, reinforce concrete. You see? So we're good here in this floor. Now it's when it gets a little iffy. We're gonna go to the fifth floor, which we can get to by using our emergency escape ladder, which is over here. You know, 
There we go. Okay, this is the area to, uh, the, the, uh, of the hospital that's, you know, accessible to the zombies. This is the third floor. You can see the damage, you see? And over here as well, you see? This area, a lot of damage. Floor destroyed here. And fourth floor. I mean, fifth, fifth floor, we, we don't even have... No, this is fourth, I'm guessing. And this is already, you know, all completely blocked off. So, this was... Let me see, what which floor is this? I don't have a floor number here. I think I have a floor number here, right? This is three? Yeah, this is three. This is four. And this is five. And we were just in the sixth floor right up, up from this one. So you can see here we get, as you can see there's a, a few sleeper zombies, and here we get some damage. This is where they were, you know, like messing the structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly repair this. But the damage was not as bad as you might think. You know, mostly things like this. It's, it's not a few blocks that were completely destroyed. You know? Some of these blocks, yes, like this one and this one, they were like destroyed. And uh, for instance, over here, I'm not repairing this, you know, because it is not structural. And if a stupid zombie tries to attack this, it drops down, hopefully taking a little bit of damage. Also, this guy over here is kind of giving me the creep, you know, bro. Nice. Okay, anyone else around? You can see, this is where the zombies did the most damage, you see? All of this, you can see. But I, I don't really care because this is not part of the tower. Or at least it's not a part where I'm standing. You know? So, this area, this central area, yes, we're going to do a little bit of repair. And upgrades. So it can, you know, be load-bearing. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and... All of this is taking damage, you see? I'm going to go ahead and block this off. Good. And this, and this. Okay, if the zombies want to go over here, they can just fall until they puke. Just block this as well. You see? Some repairs. But in general we're good. Um this this is just random damage, you know. Still I would like to you know upgrade a little bit of this area. So we don't have uh yeah still we still have a lot of concrete. So we don't have like the chance of structural collapse. Okay, okay, we got crawlers. Okay. Come on, come over here, bro. Done. Good. Um, maybe a little here. You know, so all of this is reinforced concrete. You see, I had to repair some damage here. There was some damage here. You can tell. Let me just upgrade everything. And possibly the ceiling as well. In case someone decides to, you know, like, destroy everything. I'll try to dig down. But in general, we're good. You see? We're good. I still have a lot of concrete. Over here, we're good. Just gonna upgrade this as well. This is the area that needs to be strong. Uh, we can get here, as you can see, to the sixth floor. But I don't think a zombie is going to jump like to that, so we might be, you know, safe. 
over here. There has been some damage to this, but it's still structural, structurally sound. I just want to upgrade this. Don't. No, I don't want to upgrade the thing. I want to upgrade this. Oh, God damn it. Okay, you know what? Screw you. There you go. Now you let me upgrade. Thank you. This. Oh! You're a welcome comedian. You see, as long as the zombies are just walking, they have no problem in coming in this direction, and they don't attack the blocks, which is what we like. You know, when I was working inside here, I strike a pose. When I was uh, working here, this thing happened several times. You know, I was just upgrading random blocks, and some uh, and somehow, you know, the zombies just went <laughs> and they came here to try and mess with me a little bit. But as you can see, this damage is not in the tower section. Is you know on the side. So just gonna just for you know so the zombies don't really wreck this part. Yeah, I hear you, zombies. I know there's another, you know, group of zombies coming. You know, so, just so the zombies don't find so easy to destroy this area, and they decide to like test another wall or something like that. You see, this took a lot of damage, and I, as you can see, I've done some repairs here. Yeah, I, I can hear zombies coming. I'm just gonna quickly finish upgrading all of this. There we go. Oh, yes, hello, lady. Hello? Just, just you? You look disappointed. And. Okay, let's just, so it looks good, we're gonna put this here, this, and that, and that. And over here, over here we have some damage that might be structurally, you know, important, so I just gotta upgrade all of this, and we're going to cover it. Just so nothing collapses. You know. There you see. That looks good. Upgrade this, this one. However, with this, we still have enough. And this one. I think we're in the fifth floor now. doing some just light upgrades okay I don't know if I've been here I think I have okay judging by this guy I haven't hello yes hello oh you were feral I said were feral because I knew you were going to just get shot in the face and you know it happens okay no reason to leave that like destroyed we can place oh oh sneaky bastards okay i'm just gonna do this this is a half block where i'm standing you see Oh, sorry. I did a little damage. We got this light shining over there. Okay, everything looks good. Up with this and that. Good. Okay, and you can see over there. Yep. Thinking this is going to work. We're going to need a lot more firepower, I'm thinking. You know? Okay, enough exploring. There's a thing over here. Uh, okay, nice. I'll take it.
now it looks nice, you see? Uh, and just for some reason there's some damage here that we cannot let you know, we cannot let it just stand okay and there's some damage to these pillars but I don't really care this is the area that needs to be structurally sound and as you can see everything is good no damage to the ceiling That looks good. A little bit of upgrades here. Since we use those blocks, upgrade this one and this one. Uh, you see, like this thing. This is the things that the zombies do and that mess up the structural integrity of the building. But we're fixing them. Like this one over here. Why? Why would you do this? You know? Why would you randomly destroy that block? You know? It's like every block in the building. It's okay, but f this block in particular. You know? Just that block. I don't know. It's weird. So yeah, this this could be like iffy. So that's why we're repairing this one in particular, okay. Uh, I don't know about this, let's just do one row, or we would some concrete, we're good. We're just fixing everything here. So you see, in the, in the event that the zombies decide to, you know, like, have a, a rape party here, uh, there's no no problem. Just upgrading everything here. Put this one. You see, it's 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 the same areas in the different floors. Over here, they they, they did some damage and, and they went down, but I don't really care. Uh, you see, this is the same area where they were uh, destroying. Uh, on the on the floor on top so we're going to mess with them I'm just gonna upgrade and repair all of this yeah I hear you zombie I hear you I know you might be oh crap I almost fell into the okay we're gonna just put this here because the zombies they can fall but for me it's uh, like no no good Okay, bro, I know, I know you want to be featured in this episode as a jackass who did a... Oh, ooh, crap. Holy crap. Okay, this, this is, this is serious business. Okay, we shot his ass. We shot his ass. We shot his ass. Come on, bro. Ooh, nice. Holy crap. Oh, crap. Okay, bruh. He's gone. How about the cop? Lady! I got the gunslinger perk! That means I can shoot your ass real fast. Hey, stop puking! Okay, we got a lot of cops and stuff. Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, I know someone dropped loot. What is this? Iron boots. Nice. There's like a lot of dead people here. Oh, you know, I this I I modded this uh, into the XML files, so we're gonna have some of this stuff. It's gonna be cool. 
I would really like to like mod some of these things, you know, so we could have. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Uh, what is it that we have here? I'm gonna scrap that. You see this area? Much more destroyed. But as I said, I don't care because I'm only concerned about the structural integrity. I'm gonna use an error first aid of this area over here. This is what you know we have our 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 entire facility is built up there. Our outpost. This is not a facility, it's an outpost. So this is only the only area that I care to reinforce. Let me just put this here. There, 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 and there. Okay, so they don't mess with this as easily. Good. Here, here, there. Okay. Also over here, just in case. Okay, this is good. This I don't like, but as I said, it doesn't really affect us because this thing is holding and this thing is holding and this wall is holding. Uh, but you know, I think some of the damage done, uh, like over here or something like that, is what caused the, you know, the collapses up there. Uh, but the zombies want to go over here, and you know what? I'm gonna have to fix this so they can run. Like run over here and drop and then go to up the, the the ramp. Just gonna fix this as well so they don't destroy it as easily. Okay, that looks good. I actually like this because they try to go over here they, and they fall. You can see the damage, you see? Okay, this thing. This thing is good. See, I'm thinking the damage done to one of these blocks is what caused the, the collapse up, uh, upstairs. Just get it. Okay. And this one is also pretty damaged. Now this one is a structural one. Okay, so everything looks good here. I just gotta upgrade this a little bit because there was a lot of damage made over here to the building. Okay, that looks good. Just so the stupid zombies don't mess with this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have to like place this as well. Yeah. This is good. You can tell where they've been, you know, like puking or doing the damage, you see? These are the areas that we need to fix. But all in all, you know, the hospital now having sustained the impact of two 64 zombies, you know, uh, horde knights, uh, all in all, is, you know, very little damage. As I said, I just had to fix some of this stuff, but in general, we're good, we're good. Not gonna have like massive collapse or anything. Let's just go one floor down. As you can see, everything here is pretty much upgraded. Uh, yeah, this area is good. Just some random upgrades. We still have a little bit of time and a, a little bit of concrete. I uh, haven't really been to the underground. I don't know how bad the damage is there, you know? This thing has t like two levels. This is level three, as you can see. But this is the damage that I like to, you know, like try to tackle early on, you see? This one. So it doesn't... 
you know, it doesn't evolve into something that might be concerning to the structural integrity of the building. You see, everything here is pretty much very well repaired and reinforced. I don't know what's with the zombies and these blocks. For some reason, they don't like them. Maybe I'm thinking it might be the cops, like puking, you know, puking over here, causing all these shenanigans. There we go. And there's a lot of damage here, possibly also from a puking cop. Here we even have, like, actually a missing block. I'm gonna use river frame here. So I don't have to come back and upgrade it again. You see there's a lot of damage here. This is what I was showing you on the other floor. You know, just to mess with the zombies, I'm just gonna put this here. Just to mess with them. Stupid zombies. And this area, you see, this is where they're going to start jumping over the. So this area, subject to a lot of punishment. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that over there. Upgrade this. Upgrade all of this. Okay, and let's just put this here. There we go. Okay, that's good. Nice. Because you see this this whole area is now like hanging. Let me just put a little bit of this. So the zombies, okay, you can still like run and jump over here, you know, not a big problem, but this area looks good, okay, I think we're now in the first floor, yes, and also over here, you know, like straight lines, just going straight up, straight lines here, that ensures Structural stability. Yeah, we're good here. Oh, I put some... You know, I actually put this for me, but as you can see, the zombies have been doing a lot of damage. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna replace this. I want fluid movement of the zombies uh, inside this area, so they don't start pounding on the yeah you see they if they don't have a path they destroy so now they have a path yeah we're in the second floor still you know very puzzling this all of this damage on the on the on the upper area This looks good. I see. I see a lot of zombies here. Hmm. I did a lot of the sneak damage. You're gone, right? You know, that click is one of the most terrifying sounds you can ever hear. Anyone else around here? No. And no one dropped loot. That's kind of weird. Uh, how are we with this? It was, we don't have a lot of, you know, concrete, but as I said, Everything looks about right. Yeah, it's good. Just gonna upgrade a little bit here. Okay. And you see some damage here, but nothing terribly 
concerning. I'm just gonna upgrade real quick this. See, in every floor we're good. Okay, and now we get to the first floor. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna be nice and make a ramp for the zombies. That way they don't their instinct for destruction, you know, doesn't mess with me and my, my ramps and my things. Okay, everything is upgraded here as well. And all the, in this area, this, there's this door which is really, really strong, so they are not coming in this from this direction. I just exit through here, you see. And I don't know if we should go, uh, you know, to the next floor. I remember the last time I was down here, there was like a lot of pain and madness. And you know, like, you know, these things show is some uh, showing their inner workings. Hey, bro. With no, you know, consideration for the PG-13 rating that we have been granted whatsoever. Okay, I think we're at the bottom. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the opportunity to upgrade this because this area is important. Okay. Not that the zombies can do a lot in this elevator shaft. But there was some damage here, you know. Every every time you see damage, that's a concern. Okay, apparently we're good from a structural point of view all the way down here. Because I don't think this is just the first basement. I don't think there is a second basement. I think we're good. This search, I think this, yeah, I think I searched this, you know, the last time I was here. It was a lot of madness and destruction. And you know, the zombies, they like to spawn here. So we're gonna mess with them. You see? This way, no zombie spawning. Unless they like to spawn inside of a block. Huh? How are you gonna do that, you stupid zombies? Um, this area, I really don't think this area has any purpose, so we're gonna just block it off. Okay, I guess we're good. This might be, this is like an underground cafeteria. And as I said, I remember that, oh, there's something here. Ammo. It's an ammo pile. I think I think I fought all the zombies here last time I was here in this hospital. Hello nurse. Holy crap. Run. Okay. Run. Oh crap. Night time. Are you all dead? Of course you're not. Now you're dead. Okay. You gotta be careful. It is night time. So I guess it's a good time to bug out. Okay, just gonna quickly do a little upgrade over here, you see. That actually was like a nice pattern. So, you see, for the next Horde Night, we are ready. Everything looks good here. Can I upgrade this one? 
that's good. This one's over here. Let me just quickly go on the side of this. See if we're good here. Okay. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to put like a a, a blade trap in this area. Just so the zombies get like the welcome they deserve, you know? I don't know. This is upgraded, good. You gotta be real careful. I don't wanna break my leg or anything like that. Okay. This one as well. Okay, well I guess I guess this is good. The other thing that we should do is maybe like put some torches around. I have a lot of torches that I made for the last horde night, but I didn't, you know, put them up because I forgot. So I'm just gonna try to put some here so we can get a good look at the zombo. Oh crap! You know, that hadn't happened in a long time. Hadn't happened in a long time. Okay, I'm just gonna put one here, one here, one there. Okay, we got good visibility. Okay, you know, late. It's been a long episode. I'm just gonna take the engine of destruction and head home. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. See you next time. On the dark roads of Montana There's a shadow in the dirt The whisper of a mountaineer In a ragged flannel shirt he walks the stony hillsides With his mandolin in hand But you'll never see his face around this long forgotten land